still sounds good. What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Ozzy. And today on Cars and Cameras, our 1000cc trophy cart is back. This vehicle went out of commission about a month ago because one day the transmission woke up and decided that it was done. A uh, piece broke off and lodged itself and it just wouldn't go into gear. So I found a new used transmission for $135 on eBay. It'll probably be the cheapest BMW part I ever purchased in my life. Uh, so in today's episode, we're gonna reinstall it, take it for a send, we might even let the intern ride it. Is that wise? No. Now let's make sure there's actually a transmission in here. Came with a free That's trash literally bag. literally a trash bag. I mean it's a different color. Well, it's a transmission. Buddy, someone's been in this one. Uh, I mean, it could be nothing or it could be something, but I think we ought to try to go through the gears and make sure everything's there. Cool. Alright, this should be first. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. I don't think there's any more. So the transmission has all the gears, shifts smoothly. I think it's good enough we can put it in this thing. Sweet, man. So I'm gonna slide the transmission underneath. I'm gonna lift it up into place and uh, start putting some bolts in it. Let's get started. Do we need to splatter paint it, man? <laughs> <laughs> or we can just install it. Let's just install it, yeah. it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dude, so what I'm trying to do here um, is installing the clutch uh, linkage, and uh, I'm not having any great luck. This dust boot is supposed to uh, be on here and hold it in place, but I can't get the thing to go deep enough, so I'm going to grab the clutch linkage off of the other transmission and put it on here and make sure it's actually functioning right um because it feels like this needs to go deeper but it's it's not like even with it feels like it's working but it it just kind of looks like it's out too far i don't know oh there it goes. So the new unit is bolted in. Now it's just time to transfer all the clutch parts and other accessories over to the new transmission and then bolt the ECU back in place, put the drive shaft back in, uh, bolt the axle back in, all that stuff, button it up and then hit the road. So we're looking good. It's time to reinstall the drive shaft. Yeah, buddy. So we did have to trim part of our protective guard for the drive shaft there in order to get the drive shaft out. Well, we're gonna weld about half of it back, just the top half so we can still get the drive shaft out, but it'll still give us protection. All right, so, so close. All right, the drive shaft is in. Now I have to uh, take the rear end loose again and move it back a little bit so I can get this end hooked up. How could I forget? Looks like some U-joint bolts are going in. Yes, that's right. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Gorgeous. So we're getting close, guys. Uh, I'm installing the rear end, got the front mount to the uh, differential going right now. Then we're gonna be hooking up this. Uh, next up is oil in the transmission, then tidying up the wiring, hanging the computer, and we're gonna be ready for a rip.
pretty much everything is wrapped up on this transmission job. We just need to add about just under a quart of transmission fluid, excuse me, gearbox oil. There we go. To the gearbox, because it's a German, you know, German thing, I guess. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna try to tighten up the shifter. Yeah, because the location is, is pretty good because we kind of figured out this isn't good. Our, our legs are here, so we can't put shifters here. Don't want to put one there. So, I mean, this is most ideal spot. So if we tighten it up, we're probably going to be good to go. That's right. So next up, we're going to be uh, finagling a little bit with the shifter. But first, today's episode is brought to you by us. I was about to buy cars and cameras. <laughs> Go to our website, cars-cameras.com. Pick up one of our send it, bend it, mend it hats. One of our it'll be fine hats. We're putting up a new shop. We have an intern. Uh, we're looking to make some real big changes here. And those are expensive. So help support us in our future videos and help this channel grow by picking up some high quality merchandise like one of our hats, one of our t-shirts, uh, one of our sticker packs, or any of our other items on our website cars-cameras.com. Oh, and don't forget, watch our podcasts. Yes, and stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to our podcast channel, At The Wheel With Cars and Cameras, to catch our podcast once every other week or so. Let's keep on trucking, bud. I almost forgot we need to build a new guard for this area of the drive shaft. We have a little bit exposed, but if something were to break or happen, there's plenty of room for shrapnel to come. Uh, make contact with our legs. So I have this nice piece of square tubing that I'm going to chop up and create a guard, at least for the top and the side. How does that sound? Sounds good. And you know, I could probably even extend down that third side as long as I can just put it on without having to remove the drive shaft. We're gonna be right as rain. As per usual on cars and cameras, the sun is about to go down and tomorrow's a new day and yeah, we can totally just finish this up and ride tomorrow, but why ride tomorrow when we could ride today? So all we need to do, all we have to do, is put fresh oil in the transmission, excuse me, in the gearbox, and then we can take it out for a ride, and then we can do like, you know, the boring safety stuff tomorrow, as well as do the Grand Prix lap. But you know what? Let's just fill up the gearbox and uh, go for a quick little teaser ride. So classic, turns out there's a special tool that you need to use in order to check the Fill level. Well, that's what the video that I saw on how to, I YouTubed how to check the fluid on the transmission. And of course there was gearbox. a- Gearbox. Gearbox, I'm sorry. And of course there was a special tool. So, I mean, what you gonna do other than uh, just- no. uh, Load her up and hit the track. Yeah, yeah. 85%, huh? Yeah. All right, well, I almost got it all in there. Okay, cool. Don't get run over, dude. Let's test out this transmission. Fuel pump is just kind of, the wire is just kind of stuck in there. So. All right, it's ready to go. All right, here we go. Still runs. All the smoke that's going to come out, you know. Still sounds good. Ah. Little uh Say, man. I say it's good. Uh -huh. 
is the uh, front tires, the camber. For one thing, the alignment is out. Oh yeah. It's towed out. So when when I'm going forward, it's pulling the tires out. Right. So if we tow it in some, it we'll eliminate that. But I think we ought to maybe get a just a, a little bit more. Yeah, it's not a big deal. That's why out. we put it's, 18 yeah. million heim joints in this thing. Yes. So um, I, I notice when I go straight, the bottom of the tires are kind of peeling out. If you if you look at it straight on, it is towed out. So it is an issue, but we never address it because it still drives pretty good. Right. <laughs> but uh, this thing's pretty awesome, man. It sounds really good. It's got all the gears. The uh, shifter feels a lot better. Good. Uh, I'm still not 100% happy with it, but I mean, it's it's good enough. Sweet. Yeah. What, oh, what could be better? Uh, shorter shift, I feel like. Long throw. I it's see what you're saying. It's got long throw, but I mean... The only way we can get around that is if we put another... Do some wizardry. Yeah. And I, is it worth it? I'm not sure. No, let's get some more miles on it, man. It's always something we can change in the future. Yep. All right, so uh, now that Ike made sure it works, yep. I'm going to see if it won't work. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. started getting kind of creative with its numbers <laughs> <laughs> just like feeling the when weight comes on and off the rear end all right there's a particular piece in this engine that we're afraid of if i have a clip from it i'll paste it right here but i don't know how what you how you describe it but it's like a it it's designed it's a, drive. it's a cush drive it's designed to when you go on and off the throttle kind of absorb absorb the, shock yeah uh, to make it more of a cruiser, which that's what this BMW K100 engine was designed to do. Well, that's a point of failure for these bikes, especially if you're doing a lot of wheelies or a lot of on and off throttle, or if you're like adding zero load and then 100% load and then zero load, which is exactly what's happening back here. Um, that being said, I feel like this engine is on borrowed time a little bit, man. Already, I'm just going to say it. We already put a transmission in it. It's got a lot of electronics. You were turning the snot out of it. I was, man, and it had more to go. I just, like, want to finish the episode without ending it with we broke something else. <laughs> All right, so we have a little bit of light left. So uh, we have our summer intern, Peyton, here, and he's totally dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Do you want to ride it? Oh, heck yeah, man. <laughs> All right, sweet. You'll be the first person Other than outside us. of us. Yeah. Don't break it. No promises. After I just spent five minutes talking about how fragile it was. Try not to break it. I wouldn't be trying to do donuts. I'm quality control. Oh man, like you gotta explain gear. the clutch and brake. Oh yeah, it's fine. Right there, mm -hmm. it's gonna tell you what gear you're in. Alright. You don't want to hit that, because... Just keep my foot rested. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit that. Got big feet. <laughs> It'll be a fire. Don't hit that. There'll be fuel everywhere. Okay. So <laughs> don't hit that. Okay. You're gonna get burned with coolant. Oh, that's the exhaust. Don't hit that. <laughs> All right. So uh, press in on the clutch. That's sneaky. sneaky. Well, I mean, we had no room for for a clutch and a brake. So so clutch, so clutch and then you press harder, and that's the. Brake. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh yeah. So when you go to shift gears, 
if you press too hard, you're hitting the brakes. This thing is dangerous. So my oh, come advice, on, man. <laughs> yeah, my advice is just kind of take tool it easy, on it, get to know it, switch the gears, get to know it. Take her on a date first. Yeah. So it's in neutral. So you can crank it without putting it on. Don't overturn it. All right. So clutch. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna go find the mud. Like a proud dad. Can't tell if it's proud dad or anxious breakdown dad. <laughs> Well, he's putting the transmission in next time. Oh boy! That is awesome! Oh my Jesus! So it's, it's, it's doing exactly like we wanted. There's no mud getting in that radiator. And when you're going fast, it's actually pulling it through and stuff. Sweet! Yeah. So what do you think, man? Oh, it is awesome. A little too fast. Oh, but you're so it's just you, perfect. It's like a Cadillac. Yeah, it's smooth. It's yeah, very it smooth. Is. It's really smooth. It's a little bumpy on the pedals, but I mean, big boots. Yeah. But I mean, in a seat, it's, it's not too bad. You don't get thrown around too much. Just up and down, which seatbelt will take care of. This thing is pretty sweet. Holy heck! I wish the steering was a little bit quicker. But you get used to it, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I whip her around with no problems. So, yeah, dude, that front end was bothering me. The the harder you run it, the more it wants to... Yeah. You feel yeah. It out. Yeah. So, alignment and... uh, We can't really... Uh, I don't think we need it to be any stiffer. But maybe we can... Uh, just kind of add a little camber yeah we're having fun with it again yeah we're back having fun with the trophy card everybody thanks for watching this episode we have some new parts to throw at it soon to get it more prepared and better at jumping we have some new shocks to put on it with more appropriate rebound for the type of terrain that we're doing we're going to be putting a five point harness in this bad boy and finishing up the safety drive shaft stuff that we never did today but alignment. oh and alignment how could I forget? Yeah, um, trophy cart. It's back and better than ever. Who knows how long it'll be for, but uh, I love this vehicle, man. It's sweet. It's pretty sweet. So you can find Ike on Facebook. Nope. You can find Ike on YouTube and Instagram at Isaac It'll Be Fine. You can find me on Instagram at John underscore Cars and Cameras and on Facebook in between episodes at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks on what we are up to. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Peyton, what'd you think, man? Oh, it's a hoot and a half. It really is, man. <laughs> a hoot and a half. We'll catch you next time. God. Oh my gosh. He was huge. Oh. Jesus. I think I just missed it. He was massive. There are some crows out here making a lot of racket. I, and I told you there was something bothering them. It was a gigantic owl. I've never seen an owl that big before. And I then I almost died. And you were standing right there. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs>